social media settings for DaVinci Resolve. Recording vertical video, you have to change the dimensions to 1080 by 1920. This is good for TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. Once it's done, you'll see this vertical black bar appear on your screen. Now, if you're looking to reuse content, it will appear in the middle of your screen, therefore not filling out the entire frame. To change this, go into the Inspector tab, scroll down to the bottom, which is real-time scaling, and you'll click on Fill. Doing this will cause the video to fill up the full frame of the project. Now, you don't want to do this for every clip, such as if you're using multiple clips, and this is how you adjust that. In your project settings, you go into Image Scaling, click the drop-down, you're going to click Scale Full Frame with Crop hit save now using a transform overlay you can easily adjust your uh, project to where the subject of your video remains in center frame now you can chop up the clip and move each part of the clip piece by piece or you can keyframe the position And with the old lay on, you can just grab, literally just grab the footage and move it over as you see fit. Thus keeping your subject, your main subject in focus, because when you're reusing content, it's obviously going to cut off all the access because this wasn't originally shot in the vertical frame. You play your content back and you see your subject remains center stage. You also can do a drop down and actually see the keyframes and uh, it's kind of like a little spline editor here on the edit page. It's nowhere near as good as the editor within the fusion page, but you can select your keyframes and hit the smooth button and it'll help smooth out the transition between the position shifts. It's not really necessary for this particular clip. It, it moves pretty smoothly. You doesn't you don't see a lot of choppy movement or anything like that. But in the clip, there's a little bit more heavy or maybe a little bit stretched out, where you have to have more movement in between the subjects or between the movement of the keyframes. It's a good idea to smooth out the keyframe. And your Instagram settings is 1080 by 1080. It's a perfect square. And the same rules apply if you want to whatever clip you want to use or want to post to Instagram. You can still transform and you still can keyframe the position for your subject and use it accordingly. Instagram also has a secondary setting of 1080 by 1350. This gives you a little bit more of a rectangular shape, with allowing your post to actually take up more space on your timeline, thus giving your post a little bit more of attention. Now, TikTok also playback at 60 frames a second. So if you want to create a new timeline, hit Control N, uncheck Use Project Settings, go to Format, change your settings accordingly here you change the video dimensions you go to frames per second you can drop it down or drop it but bring it up to 60 frames per second this is good for gameplay clips where if you're if you record your clips in 60 frames a second and last but not least if you want to keep your project or your original video where basically where you can see all of the frame especially like a game clip where you see the health bar the map and all this stuff if you want all this stuff access you can use the blank fill feature within the open vfx or open fx i'm sorry and this also allows you uh, to add a drop shadow blur at the background things like that you can also use the alpha and put a whole different image behind the content if you want or you can white it out like that like so you can also leave it blank and just fill it in with text to use that text to you know promote your YouTube channel or things like that. There's a number of different settings you can use and gives you quite a bit of customization options. That's been it for today's video. Just a quick video on the settings you need to change in order to repurpose your videos for social media, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, Reels, or YouTube Shorts. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for future content. Until next time.